Hi Taurus, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is your reading for July 2019, including the new moon eclipse in Cancer. So I'm starting right off here with the Hierophant and the Knight of Swords. So the Hierophant is usually associated with Taurus. Um, although that is not my favorite association since this is your reading and the Hierophant came out, I have to... Um, bring that connection to light. The Hierophant is a card of going within in order to understand your higher truth. This is listening to your higher self. You can see this person, this is a very spiritually devoted person who is going through some sort of ritual in order to um, gain some sort of higher wisdom. I, I, with this, in this moment when the card came out, I really felt the Hierophant going candle to candle, lighting the rituals, bringing something together. The energy in this card feels like this. It feels like something's building, something's building. And the Hierophant is like that, the, the monk in the top of the castle, in the top of the, the alley, you know, just who can feel all of the energy that is about to happen, can feel big changes are coming in and that's reflected in your spread. We'll get to that in a second. Can feel the big changes are coming in and they're taking this time to continue their devotion. It's, and it's almost like their, de their like private devotion to faith itself through this ritual is like helping this process. And the ritual, by the way, is simply you aligning with your higher self. It feels really important right now. There's a fish on, on the back of the Hierophant and there's a hand pointing up that is coming out of the fish's mouth, see that? which feels like emotional truth from your higher self. It's like the truth, the, uh, the truth itself swimming up in your back. Your back is like the place, the realm where you can't really see coming up from the depths, the emotional depths. And I think it sort of surprises you and points you to your higher self. So getting in touch with your emotions is gonna be really important at this time, that's the key. See the keys down here to unlock all the elements with the pentagram, the five element, all of the elements here. It's like those, that's the key. That's the key is that emotion rising up your spine and reaching up to, to meet your higher self. And I'm really drawn to the two candles on either side and, and I'm not exactly sure why. I think we're gonna find out in clarity here as we go along. But right under the Hierophant, we have the Knight of Swords. This is an interesting reading because I'm really not getting a linear story here. It's almost like happening in, the energy is really like that. So we have the Hierophant getting really clear on their higher self through their emotions, through like private spiritual devotion to that, that's like unlocks the key. And I feel like when something unlocks, I, I just like get this image of a gear turning, like a gears turning and then click. It's like cracking a code with a safe. It's like, ooh, that's it. And it cracks the code and then like all at once, Knight of Swords, Page of Coins, Eight of Wands. It's like a rush comes in, the knight of court, the knight of swords, comes in with the truth and slashes the canvas. See that slash mark right there? Slashes the veil. Either slashes through, you can see that there's like a storm, a tornado in the distance, slashes through the storm, through the drama because they come through with the truth or the way that they come in hot with the truth creates a tornado. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Again, more swift communication coming in from externally, external um, sources. 
to me, I feel like the Knight of Swords, the, I, I'm telling you, I almost called you Hierophant. Taurus, the reason I needed to make the Taurus Hierophant connection for you today is because this is you. This is your energy right now. This is you as the Hierophant. And something's about to bust. Stuff is about to come in. Like truth, information from outside is about to pour in and it's about love, I think. It's about an emotional situation. We have Cupid's arrows coming in here. We have the truth, the sword of truth rushing in. It's the fastest moving energy of the tarot, both of these. In, and they're both here. And they are bringing a new start. Page of coins. Some sort of offering in the earth element. Bringing the page of coins, working with the energy of earth to make a new start. And that new start is like, we got Ace of Cups and the element of water. And what I immediately felt was water that has been frozen just Whoosh, like an avalanche just rushing gushing crashing it's very intense energy especially with knight of swords eight of wands it's like it's like a huge chunk of this iceberg just like cracks off and crushes rushes into the water below it's like floodgates open and then we have ace of cups new opportunity in love new emotional opportunity and then i take cards for what spirit is doing behind the scenes for you the unseen hands if you will and we got five of wands and three of swords so it's like there's a breakup situation that's what i'm feeling there's there's um news coming in coming in hot that is potentially uh, gonna cause some heartbreak, gonna cause um, some hurt, some pain, some feelings of betrayal. But you know what, the sword right up the center of that heart is the sword of truth. And you can see at the top, it blooms into flowers. This is a good truth. This truth needs to come through in order for you to get this new start in love with the page of coins and the ace of cups. So right now, um, spirit is working this process five of wands is like internal conflict and process it's it's a feeling of being unsettled in your gut it's actually the feeling that i got when i look at the hierophant and that story i described of the hierophant up in in the cloister you know like by themselves sensing the energies that are going on sensing the energies around also i'm feeling like okay this is like uranus and taurus we have Uranus and Taurus right now. Uranus is like lightning flash, quick changes, surprise, okay? Busting things up a little bit. Something's coming in with the truth. And, and you can feel it coming. I think that's why the five of wands is here because you have this unsettled feeling in your gut, this like internal, this internal process. And it's not going to be relieved until the truth comes out. And I think that's going to hurt a bit when it does. But then we have page of coins, new offer, ace of cups, new beginning in love. The water's just flowing, crashing, Okay, interesting. Let's get some clarity here. So I actually want to start off with the Hierophant. Where's the Hierophant here for Taurus in July 2019 at the time of the solar eclipse in Cancer? Right at the beginning of July. Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah. Okay. King of Pentacles. So this is this is energy. This is you. That's some earth energy right there. Someone that is deeply embodied, very grounded. They know who they are. They know who they are authentically out in the world. They walk through the world with their feet on the ground. 
and they make things happen. I feel like that's you here. This is like you in your grounded energy with your higher self. Getting into your higher self here because you, your spider sen spidey senses are going off. Something's about to happen. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. What's about to come in here? What's this information that's coming in quickly? The moon. Okay, so this could be telling us that this is going to happen at the time of the new moon eclipse in Cancer. It could also be signifying that secrets are being revealed because the moon is like um, things that are hidden under the cover of night. So it could be like emotional secrets coming out. Emotional things that are kept, have been kept hidden are coming out. The truths are coming in. What else? Why is the Knight of Swords Eight of Wands here, please, for Taurus? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So whatever this is, is bringing is is information that while it may cause some heartbreak, it is ultimately moving you towards your wish fulfillment. And I believe that the truth is coming out because you are stepping into your wish fulfillment now. You are clear on what your heart wants and you're going for it. No more staying in, in situations that don't feel good to you where you feel dissatisfied. I'm also like drawn to this king of pentacles being a little like you know like well, hmm. and that can be taurus energy too kind of like sitting on it you know kind of just not wanting to make moves kind of sitting here no it's time for some major action because it's really time for you to move towards your wish fulfillment. And, and really that's the energy that everyone is experiencing collectively right now. With this new moon in Cancer, the eclipse, it's asking, what is the new start that your heart needs to feel the emotional security that you need? To feel a true sense of home. So I think something's about to bust up so that you can move towards that. What's the page of coins? Why is the page of coins here for Taurus? July 2019. Why is the page of coins here for Taurus? Page of coins. Okay, seven of wands. We have the Minotaur, another bull here. Someone is fighting the Minotaur. Seven of wands can be conflict, fighting. It can be standing up for your truth. Let's get some more clarity. Hmm, two flippers. Okay, Knight of Wands. Again, more passionate, fast-moving energy. And the King of Wands. Wands, 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 wands. So I think it's time for you to take some action here, Taurus. I think some information is coming in from outside that's going to help you do that. But this Knight of Swords, this is you. I think I think you need to take action towards your dreams and towards your desires. And you need to do it quick. Because you, as this King of Pentacles, kind of sitting on your butt here, it's not working. You know, you're like cloistered away as the Hierophant. And you can feel, okay, that's it. That's why I was drawn to the two candles. Because it's the two of wands. It's a choice that needs to be made. And it's it's a choice to follow your passion to follow your passion towards your desires. It's a, it's, a, it's a choice in fire. And that's how you embody the king moving from like that, the, what's pictured here as the king of pentacles to like sitting on their rump, kind of like unsatisfied and hoping things work out for them. No, you're moving into the king of wands energy. This is someone very decisive, taking action on their desires out in the world, blazing a whole new trail, which is why we see ace of cups and page of coins here. New start new trail new way of going about this no more fighting no more crap coming in like tolerating these this storm here it's like no i'll cause the storm to stop any bs that's going on to stop any bs that's going on in your life because it is absolutely time for you to stand up sometimes you see the seven of wands as like one wand in the middle and three on either side six here kind of like 
parting ways for that one wand to come forward. I think that's you here with this page of coins. It's like you're coming through with some sort of offer for someone or someone else is coming through with an offer for you that is a passionate um, taking action. Okay, Ace of Cups and water. Where's the Ace of Cups and the element of water here for Taurus, July 2019? Because the wheel of change is turning, the wheel of fortune is turning, eight of cups, you've got to walk away. You have to walk away from what is not serving you and move towards what is, which is a new beginning in love. You've got to leave the old behind in order to go towards this new abundance and, and emotional, massive emotional um, new start that's there for you. Why else is the ace of cups? Yep, it's the lovers. There's a choice. There's a choice to be made to walk away from what is not serving you and move towards what is, which is the Ace of Cups. Anything else for Taurus? Anything else? Water element. Why is the water element here for Taurus? The winds of change are blowing, my friend. You can feel it as the Hierophant. Yeah, something's got to come to an end. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Swords over here. Something is ending. Something has got to end. You've got to walk away. So, And that's the choice to be made so that you can move towards the Ace of Cups. You can move towards a new beginning in love that leads you to abundance, that leads you to your Nine of Cups, your true wish fulfillment, true happiness. Look at this person just like pregnant with happiness. And let's get a little more clarity over here with this Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here for Taurus? Why is Spirit working with the Five of Wands for Taurus? Why is Spirit working behind the scenes with the Five of Wands? Queen of Pentacles. So we have the King of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles here. It could be, this is more Earth energy, this is more of your energy. The Queen of Pentacles is someone that nurtures, someone who is very loving, caring, very devoted, someone who's devoted to their work, devoted to the care of others. So maybe you are the King of Pentacles here and you are in relationship with someone who more embodies the Queen of Pentacles and that's, that's what's coming to an end or maybe that's, I don't know. Why else? Why is the Five of Wands here for Taurus and the Queen of Pentacles? Inter yeah, the Emperor. Okay, so if this is your energy here with the Queen of Pentacles, I think you have to stop caretaking things that don't work for you. You have to stop sticking in situations and sticking with situations for too long really trying to make them work, trying to make it work, trying to nurture. If I nurture enough, if I nurture enough, it's gonna work. No, it isn't. Um, move out of the earth. You have so much fire on the board because you need fire. You need fire energy right now that's gonna ignite and, and um, ignite what needs to be ignited here. Because we have the emperor that is pure Aries fire energy that's the leader the leader taking up and just like the the king of wands taking a stand making a choice saying this is what I want this is the world that I want to create for myself this is the new start that I want it's making that that lover's choice the choice in the lovers who Taurus why is the three of swords here why is the three of swords here for Taurus for what's happening behind the scenes. What's this three of swords? What's this, what is the heartbreak for Taurus? I mean, if, you know, eight of cups, if you're leaving something behind, that's bittersweet. It, it hurts. It hurts to do that. But I'm telling you, this is the energy for the collective right now. We are all leaving things that no longer serve us and moving towards what is the true wish fulfillment here. Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus, July 2019, at the time of the solar eclipse in Cancer? Why is the Three of Wands here, or Three of Swords? Nope. Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus? The 
yeah seven of swords something's not right in your current situation there's like there's lying you're either lying to yourself or someone else is lying to you and i think that that's kind of the betrayal here that's what ends up really really hurting when that is realized and then that's the ending with the ten of swords that cycle is ending you are leaving that behind you are going to choose or you are being asked at this time you are given the opportunity to come through with the truth and choose your happiness choose a new beginning emotionally and in love it's good it's gonna be good i think i want a little more clarity on this ace of cups what waits on the other side for taurus what's on the other side of this choice for taurus what's on the other side of taking this action yep haha <laughs> you can't write this stuff man two of cups exactly the union that you deserve the union that is balanced the union of two people whose cups are already full pouring into energy that is reciprocal and equal and nourishing yes love it three of cups on the bottom of the deck heck yeah there's going to be major celebration once you once you do this once you make this choice take action on this take action on your heart <sighs> okay what's the overall guidance here from the major arcana looking at the major arcana in the botanic tarot what is the guidance for Taurus at this time, July 2019? Yeah, the tower. I can't tell you how many times I've pulled this card for folks at this time because this is like a, a heavenly tower moment here with what's going on in the stars with this new moon eclipse and the, ecl the eclipse season that is July here. We are right in the middle of this year. And in order for us to transition out of the hanged man part of the year and into the empress part of the year, out of limbo, waiting for some sort of spiritual enlightenment, now it's time to move because it's time for us to receive the abundance that is waiting for us in the second half of the year here. And that transition happens because of a tower moment. A tower is when that lightning has to come in from outside, okay, eight of wands rushing in some information coming in from outside that's going to set that's going to just tear tear right through tear right through the veil causing a bit of a storm sometimes the tower card is called the storm but it is a necessary storm it is a this tower absolutely must crumble so that you can build your rebuild your foundation it looks like in love with with someone and in a new way that fulfills you emotionally this tower moment has got to happen don't be afraid i know you can feel it because i can feel it here with the higher font i know you can feel it coming either because you can feel inside of you that you got to make a move you have to do a thing or you can also maybe feel this external the winds of change flowing in and, and bringing news to this situation the storm is coming and do not fear it because it is bringing you to your abundance. It is going to be a beautiful tower moment. Not without pain and not without heartbreak, but I'm telling you, it's moving you towards something gorgeous. Yay. All right, Taurus. This has been your video for um, video tarot reading for July 2019 at the time of the new moon solar eclipse in Cancer. If you enjoyed this reading, please click like so that the video can get out to those who need to hear it and um, subscribe to my channel and we will stay connected as we move into further eclipses this July. If you're enjoying this work and you want to dive deeper, there's a link below to my Patreon. You can go check that out. There's tons of free resources over in that space um, for you to uh, check in with yourself and do the inner work that is necessary for big turning point moments like we are in right now. And um, if you like what you see over there and you really want to dig in and work with me more one-on-one, -on -one, you can um, join the Patreon community and dig in with us. So thanks again for listening, Torres, and I'll catch you mid-month.